A Jungle Tale Father Wolf woke up from his day's rest. Mother Wolf lay with her big nose dropped across her four cubs, and the moon shone into the mouth of the cave where they all lived. A little shadow with a bushy tail crossed the threshold. It was the jackal, the baki. The wolves dislike the baki because he runs about making mischief and telling tales. Shere Khan will hunt among these hills for the next moon. Shere Khan was the tiger who lived near the Wainganga River, twenty miles away. By the law of the jungle, he has no right to change his quarters without warning. Father Wolf began angrily. He has come here to make our villagers angry. They will scar the jungle for him, and we must run when the grass is set on fire. I go. You can hear Sher Khan below in the thickets. Father Wolf listened, and he heard the tiger. It is neither bullock nor buck he hunts tonight. It is man. The law of the jungle forbids every beast to eat man. Man killing means the arrival of men on elephants with guns and rockets and torches. Then everybody in the jungle suffers. The purr grew louder. Then there was a howl from Sher Khan. He has missed. Something is coming uphill," said Mother Wolf, twitching one ear. Directly in front stood a baby. "Is that a man's cub?" How little and how bold! Now, was there ever a wolf that could boast of a man's cub among their children? I have heard now and again of such a thing, but never in our pack," said Father Wolf. "But see, he looks up and is not afraid." The moonlight was blocked out of the mouth of the cave, for Shere Khan's head was thrust into the entrance. A man's cub went this way. Give it to me. The man's cub is ours," said Father Wolf. "What is this? It is I, Shere Khan, who speaks." The tiger's roar filled the cave with thunder. Mother Wolf sprang forward. The man's cub is mine. He shall live to hunt with the pack, and in the end, he shall hunt you. Sher Khan backed out of the cave's mouth, growling. The man's cub is mine, and will come to me in the end. Father Wolf said gravely, "Will you keep him, Mother? Keep him." Mother Wolf gasped. He came by night, alone. And very hungry, yet he was not afraid, and the lame butcher would have killed him, while the villagers hunted through our lairs in revenge. Assuredly, I will keep him. Lie still, Mowgli. For Mowgli, I will call you. The time will come when you will hunt Shere Khan, as he has hunted you.